Oops. Can you have mommy open? Yeah. That's a whole suitcase full of things, isn't it? If you've seen my last couple of videos, you would have known that I went to Malaysia and India for holidays. We went away for two weeks and I bought a lot. I'm generally known to shop a lot and when I do plan to buy, I go, I don't go overboard but I do make sure that I buy everything that I wanted to. When we went to Malaysia and India this year, I wanted to buy a lot, especially for Levi. I wanted to get a lot of toys and clothes and everything. In last week's video, I showed you everything that I bought, which included toys, household stuff, grocery, snacks and, you know, bits and pieces and everything. But with clothes, as you can see here, um, not everything is fitting in the frame at the moment. As you can see here, I bought a lot of clothes. This is Lakshman's pile. This, these two are mine and these three are Levi's pile. And I wanted to make a separate video to show you everything because if I had included this in last week's video, we would have been there forever. Even in today's video, I need to be really, really quick with it. Otherwise, it's going to take ages for me to show you everything. So these are the things that I bought from Malaysia and India. I'll try and, you know, kind of show you Malaysia first and then India because that's how our trip was. We did Malaysia first and then we went to India. I didn't want to buy too many traditional clothes, but I wanted to buy... Um, a lot of clothes for Levi because he's growing now. He's a year and a half now. He's 20 months old now. Um, he's growing a lot and he needs a lot of clothes. So I wanted to buy a lot and it was far cheaper in Malaysia and in India to buy clothes there. And the quality was really good. So I thought this is it. I am going to buy everything for him. Um, without much ado, let's get into the video. I will show you mine first and then I'll show you um, Levi's and then I'll show you Lakshman's finally. Okay. The pile on my right here is the ones that I bought from Malaysia. My style has changed a little bit now. I'm a lot more into t-shirt and jeans. I've always been a jeans kind of a person. Um, but I normally kind of wear like nice tops or blouses or jumpers and that sort of thing. But I find it really difficult to get nice tops here for my size. And that would fit the weather here because it's always cold, you know. And I didn't want to layer too many things and I found it really difficult. So the easiest thing to do was to wear t-shirts inside with cardigans or sweaters and that sort of thing. So this is t-shirt number one. Um, from this brand called Goggles. Okay, very simple, basic t-shirt, but the color was really nice. So I got that one, and then this is a Ralph Lauren t-shirt. This is actually from a children's section. I always get a lot of clothes from kids section, and I didn't think I'll be able to get that from um, Malaysian kids section because I'm considered average size in Malaysia and in India. Only in the UK, I'm really, really petite, so it's difficult to buy sizes for me in the adult section, so I normally go to the kids section, but in Malaysia, I couldn't find anything in the kids section except for this one. This is age 9 to 10 years old. And Ralph Lauren had such a good deal. I'll explain that later when I show you Levi's clothes. But I wanted to get matching stuff. So the purple one was for me. Lakshman got a blue one and Levi got a red one. I didn't want like exact same color for all of us. So it didn't bother doing that. And this was also Ralph Lauren. I really liked this print. And then the next one, somewhat a jumper. This is M size. I'm usually S size in Malaysia. I don't know why I went for M size. Either they didn't have S size or I wanted to go for like an oversized thing where I can wear a long sleeve inside and then wear this. And it has an elastic band in the bottom here so it look quite nice with, um, you know, long sleeve t-shirt inside, fitting long sleeve inside on this one. This is a nice blouse, which isn't my style again. It's short sleeve so it's only going to be for summer or maybe for holidays and it has a knot by the side. It looked really nice on the mannequin and I thought I'll just give it a go. It was fairly cheap. I didn't try anything that I bought so I'm really really hoping that it will all fit me because I like everything that I got. I was quite specific with what I wanted to buy. I just didn't want to buy random stuff and then either not be able to fit into it or if it's ill-fitting or it doesn't suit me. I didn't want any of those things at all. So although I didn't try it, I was very particular and careful with what I was taking. I absolutely loved this um, sweater, jumper sort of a thing. It's such a sweet colour, front and back. They had several other colours, but I didn't want too many of the same style. So I just got this one. Um, a very soft, very comfortable Really nice, not good for very strong winters, but very good for autumn and layering. And then I got more jumpers. This one was a surprise. The material was so good. Um, 
I think I got this because I wanted to match with Levi. Levi has something in green that I don't. And I think Lakshman has one in green. No, yes, Lakshman has one in green as well. So I felt left out when the two of them wore matching stuff. And I found this and I bought this so that I can match with the two of them. And then another one. Uh, pinkish orangish jumper. This again is to match with Levi. Both Lakshman and Levi have orange ones. This is not the bright orange that they have, but at least somewhere along there, you know, in their family. So we can all match together. Uh, this is a black jumper. I haven't got any black jumpers at all, so I wanted a black one. A simple plain one, and it says, good taste over here. That's it. Not super thick, it's just like a t-shirt. Um, good for layering, obviously, wear something inside and wear something else outside. And this is another nice top. Uh, it's got this really funny different kinds of a collar. It's got buttons by the side here on the shoulder and short sleeve. It'll be nice when you wear um, a very well fitted long sleeve inside and I wear this on the outside. I think I look good with both jeans and skirts. Everything will look good with jeans. So those were all from Malaysia and this is also from Malaysia. This one was in KL. From Malaysia we went to India. We transited in KL for about three to four hours so that three to four hours was eating and shopping and I found this in transit this was the only thing I liked I didn't like anything else at all and I've never worn any pants like this it's one of those you know elasticated waist and baggy pants quite see-through and quite thin so it's going to be really good for summer or for holidays obviously not in the UK at all or even if you want to wear like over spring or autumn it's fine as long as you wear like a layer of tights inside it should be fine and need to wear this with like a fitted t-shirt or something black or even white fitted t-shirt will look good so I am excited to try this to style it and see how I carry it those were all Malaysia the next one is India I'm gonna try and gather everything in one end there so it's easier um, let me show you this skirt first because this blouse is to go along with this skirt I got this skirt from India it's like a nice wraparound skirt over here so the size doesn't really matter and the bottom is like umbrella cut it's got a nice gold and black print on it all around it it needs a nice fitted blouse I couldn't find anything to match with it but I found this when I was looking around um, it's a nice lacy number I can wear this with a cardigan. I've got multiple cardigans that can go along with this, like a nice black cardigan. I'm hoping this will look good together. Otherwise, I need to look for something else for these two. And then let's go for this one. I bought this top in India. Uh, it's a green one with a cut through, like a peekaboo thing. Yeah, I've never worn anything like this, but I've been looking for this size because I'm petite. It's really difficult to find something that's nice. I don't want like a proper crop top thing and I don't want something which is super long. With skirts and stuff, this one looks really nice. So I got that and it's one of those, you know, bottle green color, which is in fashion at the moment. A lot of bottle green actually looks so good. And then I got this t-shirt. I thought it was really cute. Uh, cancel my subscription to your issues. I normally don't go for t-shirts with slogans and stuff, but this one looks really, really in interesting. And on that note, these ones that I bought from India, I didn't expect to buy so many clothes from India. I just wanted to get like traditional set. And I've never bought this many like modern clothes, you know, in India because, I don't know, I was always kind of skeptical about their style and about the quality and stuff. But we went to this place called Lifestyle in Chennai and I just liked it. It was really good. The price was really good. The quality was really good. So I thought, let's just buy it. Why not? You know, and it looks nice. This is like the overshirt sort of a thing, but a slightly thinner version and a cropped version. I tried it on. It's ever so slightly big for me. This is extra small, but it looks nice when you're layering stuff on top, you know, and it's like such a good size. It's not overwhelming me because it's a crop version and it's not too short and it's not too heavy so it's not going to hurt my shoulder wearing that and then I got this dress for summer autumn sort of a thing it's a very nice dress it has a tie belt and a three-quarter sleeve so it's so easy to wear like a one-piece dress you don't have to look for cardigan or anything to lay on top of it I thought it was very classy very sweet looking 
Um, looked quite busy, but I haven't got anything in this kind of design or color at all. So I thought I'll get that one. This was a gift, but I chose it. Um, my auntie wanted to get me something. I wanted something with a high front slit, like an Indian traditional thing. So I saw something on Instagram and I showed that to my auntie. And then my cousin's sister found something like this online and then I picked it. I just hope I fit into it though because when she ordered this online and it arrived, um, it was the end of our trip, end of two weeks and a lot of eating. So it was quite tight and I tried it on top of the t-shirt that I was already wearing. It felt very, very snug. And then I haven't tried anything else ever since then. Now that I've been back in UK, I think I've already lost a little bit of that weight. So I should try it sometime. It's quite thin, so it's not really winter appropriate, um, you know. But it's nice. It was very flowy and I should wear it with jeans or leggings or something. I think I'll just wear that with jeans. And then I got this set of like a kurta top. Um, just a nice maroon colour, which is what I'm into at the moment. And this one has like a peekaboo slit. It's not really a slit, but it's just an extra layer thing. Once you iron it properly, it'll look quite nice. When you're walking, uh, the slit thing opens up and it shows the colour. And I got matching legging for that to match this colour, so it looks nice. They had kurta too. I mean, not kurta. They had that tupata, like a shawl thing to go along with it. But I never wear shawl. I buy shawls and then I never wear it. I just probably put it on for pictures and then get rid of it. So there's absolutely no point buying shawls for that. So I got rid of that. And then this one is a kurta that I bought to match Lakshman and Levi. For Christmas this year, I wanted to go traditional purely because we were going to India before Christmas holidays. I normally don't wear traditional clothes, not because I don't like it, because I hardly ever find the need or the occasion to wear it. Here in Bristol, um, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't have to wear traditional clothes probably once a year. When we have traditional service in church, that's when I look for something. And all of my traditional clothes have been very, very outdated because I don't wear it. I didn't want to spend too much money. I wouldn't get any return of investment on it at all. So I wanted a casual one. I picked up Levi's and Lakshman's suit first. And then I was looking for a color for me, uh, which was a big mistake. I should have picked mine first and then picked up theirs. But theirs was really nice when I saw it first. So I just picked it up. It was quite difficult finding the right colour because I didn't take the, the the suits along with me. I was trying to look at it from pictures. But this one was super sweet. It's like a bluish sea blue kind of a thing with a lot of um, paisley sort of a print and pink colour. Three quarter sleeve. I got this altered because it was ever so loose for me. It's extra small again. I noticed the extra small size is a size bigger than my regular one so I have to fix it a little bit. And then I got this pink leggings to match this, like a contrasting thing. This is already really long, so you can only see a little bit of my ankle probably, but it look nice together. I wanted a kurta for this. Um, not a kurta, why do I keep calling it a kurta? I wanted a shawl for it, uh, like a nice chiffon pinky in this color, because this one is meant to be a more formal type than the other maroon one, and it'll look really nice with the thing. But the shop that I bought this from didn't have um, the matching color that I wanted in the chiffon material that I wanted. And when I went to another shop, we were running short of time, you know, a couple of days after before we were leaving. I went to another shop, we were super tired after such a long travel. I didn't bother looking at that, what's the point, you know. I kind of have my regrets, I probably look online, otherwise it's not so much of a big deal. So these are all my clothes, the next category will be Levi's. So here are Levi's clothes, these are the ones that I got from Malaysia. Just random basic clothes and I got all of the clothes that I bought for Levi are much bigger because he's got enough clothes for come winter and spring and everything. For the next six, seven months at least or maybe even a year, he's a size smaller than normal because he's petite too, you know. So all of the clothes that I got from Malaysia and India are slightly bigger. Some of them are 18 to 24 months. Some of them are like two to three years, especially the ones from Malaysia are two to three years so that he can keep it for much longer. And the style of clothes that I picked for him will look good when they're bigger, when they're two to three years, you know, so those are the kind of things that I got from him. This is like two to three years old, that's why it looks massive, but it's just, you know, basic long sleeve pants sort of a thing, which was so much more cheaper there than here. This is another one, a cute little one. Uh, those two came like two for the price of one or two for the price of one and a half or something. You get like a good discount. This is massive. Okay, this t-shirt is not too big, but the shorts is quite big. It's this 
Funny fitting Bermuda short sort of a thing. I don't think I noticed the length of the shorts when I picked it out. I just like the color and, you know, the combination of these three stripes and everything. When I was folding clothes, when I was picking out all of these clothes for this video, in preparation for this video, Lakshman saw it and she was like, by the time Levi fits into it, he's probably going to grow out of those tiles and he's not going to want to wear it. But we'll see what happens when he grows into it. Um, the next set of clothes that I'm going to show you are all Ralph Lauren. I am not a branded person. I don't normally buy Ralph Lauren, but Lakshman likes Ralph Lauren. And as such, my mother bought him a nice Ralph Lauren jumper. Um, I just like the brand. I like the quality and I like the design of it and everything. So I kind of gravitate towards it a little bit. But I've never bought anything for myself. I've bought things for Levi and for Lakshman from that brand, but never for myself. In Malaysia, unexpectedly, I saw this brand and it was far, far cheaper than if I were to get it here. Uh, they had a very good sale. Actually, no. To be honest, it wasn't far cheaper. It was cheaper than here, okay? So that's, that itself is a good deal. So I decided that I will get quite a lot. And I really liked all of the design and the print and everything. And I thought, okay, let's just go for it and buy some. These are all... This one is two to three years old. So that's like a short sleeve t-shirt with jeans shorts. That it comes with. Um, I need to remember to take these out and try it on him. You know, it doesn't have to be when he's like two to three years old or so, but it's not really far off, is it? This one is such a soft little jumper. This again is two to three years old, I think. No, this is three to four. I loved this and I think it'll look nice on him when he's much, much bigger. And then another orange color collared t-shirt. This one is probably two to three. Yeah, it doesn't look that big. For some reason, I like Levi in bright clothes. So I always look for bright color for him. For me, it's always like dull muted pastel colors like this. This is just a random t-shirt. Oh, this is the one that was matching with all of us. The one that I got purple for myself. This is a red for Levi and Lakshman's got dark blue. And this is another small t-shirt. I picked this out for him first. And then I sneakily took one for myself. Lakshman didn't see it until I was packing everything at home. You know, before we went to India, he was like, why did you not get the same one for me? Yeah, so <laughs> Levi and I have matching ones. I absolutely loved this shirt. This one is a much bigger size that so he can keep it for when he is older. I love this color combination and the material and everything. And then got him this jeans from Ralph Lauren too. Um, a bigger one again, which he can use next year. Not too big, actually. I think he should be able to fit into it now and then get a little bit more wear out of it. This is a gift. Uh, this is a cheetah brand and a gift. It's super huge, so I'm going to keep it for him. I think it'll look really nice. It's like a bomber jacket style. So those were all from Malaysia. And then I'll show you the one from India. But I'll start off with this kurti that started off our shopping in India. This is a traditional kurti set that I wanted. It, this is called Sherwani. So it's like a long kurti and then it has a vest here. And it comes with a pants also. Um, this is how they would normally wear it. You know, it's like a whole suit sort of a thing. I didn't want to buy an expensive one because he's hardly ever going to wear it. Probably once, twice. And then for some pictures, that's it. And he's going to grow out of it really, really quickly. So I didn't want to spend too much money, but that was such a good deal. We got that one for him. I'm going to jump the gun and show you Lakshman's so that it is matching together. Lakshman's is from the kids section too. We saw some in the hangar and the kids section ones looked really, really big. The men's section didn't have anything nice for him. So he tried on size 14, which is probably age 14, maybe 14 to 15. And that was really good. He had room to grow too, you know, in that one. So this is the one that we got for Lakshman. The blue for Levi and Lakshman is the exact same. This blue inside is the exact same. It's just a Sherwani that is slightly different. Uh, Lakshman's one comes with two pants. He can have either a blue pants or this white pants, which is a dhoti type. Dhoti is like really, really baggy kind of a thing. He's not going to wear that, so that's fine. He can wear this one. Uh, that is Lakshman's. I'm not going to fold it now. I'm just going to pile it away here. That was the traditional set, and then I bought a lot more for... Levi in India for summer. Next year, probably the year after, that's a t-shirt and the shorts that this comes with. That's like a cute little denim. Ah, I went a bit overboard buying for Levi and my mother thought that I was buying too much, but it's just bigger clothes. He needs clothes. So this t-shirt has helicopters in it 
And then it came along with this uh, dungri style. And he looks super cute in dungri. I mean, for boys, you don't really have a lot of variety and options, do you? Dungri is the cutest thing ever. While we were away in Malaysia and India, most of the time I dressed him up in shorts and t-shirt, obviously, because it's hot. And dungri, that's the cutest thing. So that was a denim dungri and that. This is just a random t-shirt, a cute little t-shirt. It was probably one pound or something if you convert it. I thought that was nice, I got that. This is like a pajama, um, a pajama set. I was very impressed with the material and the quality and the pants. The pants is really big though. The t-shirt looks like it'll fit him probably in the next two months. He can still wear it now, but I'm just going to keep it for next year maybe. This is another pajama set with this pants. The pants is like really, really cute. And then this shirt was nice. This shirt and this one says, I love my dada saurus. Dada saur. No, I love my dada saur. That was really cute. I liked the print on it. Um, those were the ones. And these are all like really summer bits and pieces that he can wear next year. That's just t-shirt and shorts. I didn't go with the intention of buying this, but when I saw it in the store, it was really cheap. And the quality was good and I thought, let's just buy it. I should have probably got a size bigger. This one might be a bit too tight, but it's like a button thing. So he can have like a t-shirt on, a vest on inside and then have that open. Comes with the shorts too. Uh, this too is a short and that's a t-shirt. What does it say? Oh, tiger and lion, his favorite animals. And then this is another short and t-shirt set, just for casual wear, summer wear. This one's a good size. I should have just gotten that red and white in a bigger size. This is a jumper, a Mickey Mouse jumper with a black hoodie. And it's got this years here. And it says Mickey by the side. When I bought this, I have to be very honest, I didn't remember that I have a Mickey Mouse jumper too. Lakshman saw it just now while I was unpacking the suitcase and he was like, someone else has a Mickey Mouse jumper too. And I was like, no, I don't. I don't have anything. And then I realized, I do. <laughs> I have a Mickey Mouse jumper. So I've got another thing to match with me. But this was like an honest thing, okay? I didn't plan to match with him at all. It just worked out. I got him a pair of blue jeans. This one looks like it's slightly big. It says 18 to 24. I need to try it on him to see if he can wear that now or not. And then this is like an ink blue jeans. He's, um, his current jeans are all a bit too tight and he doesn't have any breathing space. So I needed to get some more jeans. This one was super cute. I think it came with one of those shirts. I don't remember, but I, I think I took it separately. It's just this corduroy pants with the suspenders. And I think it'll look really cute. You can possibly wear so many different kind of t-shirts and stuff underneath that. And I got a couple of pairs of socks, just basic standard socks. I don't like the green color, but it's just socks. It doesn't matter what color it is, does it? Uh, yeah, those are all Levi's. I'm surprised I finished quite quickly. Next, we are moving on to Lakshman's step. So the first one is his um, Sherwani that you've already seen. I'm going to put that aside here. Let's get these out of the way, okay? We got some socks for him, got some underwears, and two belts. I wanted to get one black and one brown. I really liked this brown one. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can now, can't you? I really like the color of the brown, but it's such dark brown that it's very close to the black. Um, yeah, but I liked this buckle thing. You can't really see, can you? That buckle and this one. I just wanted to get like two completely different styles so that it looks nice. Uh, these are all, like the supply for the year. And then this one is a tie. This was a gift from my cousin's for him. So that's a tie and tie pin and cufflinks. He goes a lot for like awards and uh, meetings and everything nowadays. So I think that will come in handy. Um, these are from India. Oh, with Lakrans, I haven't separated whether it's from India or Malaysia. I've just put everything together. He didn't buy much in Malaysia. He didn't pick a lot. I didn't have time to pick a lot. So it's all mixed up anyway. This is the one from Malaysia. The Ralph Lauren t-shirt for him. It's size 11 to 12 years old. But it fits him. And then this one is from Malaysia too. 
just a nice t-shirt, standard plain t-shirt. This one is to match with my jumper and to match with Levi's jumper too. Uh, he already has something in green but it's not the same colour anyway. So I got him that t-shirt. This one is from India. This is like a set of three, three for a discounted price. Um, the other two is in the wash because he's already worn it. This t-shirt is from India too. I liked this collar. It was a slightly, you know, different kind of collar, like a Chinese collar sort of a thing. And it's got like small boat, paper boat print. Lakshman is not very, um, I wouldn't say not very adventurous. He just likes standard stuff. Lakshman doesn't really like too much variety because he doesn't want to spend time every morning trying to figure out what to wear. So he would rather prefer to have very similar clothes or the same colour. Like, you know, five uh, five t-shirts of the same colour, just like Matt Tivella, you know, those kind of people. So yeah, he prefers these kind of muted things. Sometimes, yeah, if he has some really bright colours or whatever, then it's completely my choice and not his. Uh, this is a pair of shorts from Malaysia. This is another pair of shorts. I wouldn't normally go for these colours at all, but he wanted one for an entirely different contrasting thing. So I said, okay, whatever you want. Another khaki colour shorts. These kind of, you know, chino shorts and everything is really good in Malaysia. So we got quite a lot of it. This one is from India. Good deal. Um, good colour, good material. I hope the size fits him though. That's the thing. And then we got shirts for him from India. Again, I wouldn't have bought these at all had they not had their sale. This one was buy three, get the fourth one free. It was a very good brand. It's this Indian terrain brand. Really good, really good quality and everything. So I got it for him there for like work shirts. Rather than buying it here in the UK, standard H&M, River Island and those sort of things, I thought I might as well just buy it from there for a change. So this is one shirt. It looks like denim, but it's actually not denim. It's just normal shirt with a small print and then the second one I like this color though like a khaki green color again with small prints these are all for his work uh, we kind of separate his wardrobe you know work clothes and um, weekend clothes holiday clothes that sort of thing this is called dry material mm, still the same style whatsoever you know it's just the same kind of style it's just different colors different material print and then this is like a standard check white with greenish blue check shirt. I like that material, it's really really good. So these are all that I bought from Malaysia. My family thought that I went a bit too crazy but I have budgeted for it and I had intended to buy all of these things. And it's kind of our shopping for the year basically because I don't really do shopping here anymore. I don't go to the stores. Um, I have to do everything online and sometimes sizing is really difficult. I didn't really try any of the things that I bought there too but it doesn't matter does it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you're ever going on a holiday in Malaysia and India from the UK, remember, make complete use of the uh, benefit of the exchange rate and the sales that you get there. Sometimes the quality is really good, sometimes the quality is bad, so you just have to look for, you know, what you really want. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one. I now have the joy of clearing all of these up and then making Levi. Uh, I've let him sleep way too much while I'm filming this, so I need to go and get him now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Here is a mess that I have made from all of these things. I now have to fold it and put it all away.